Hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week we are doing a little video called Facts About Me, Ava Facts, whatever the title says. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> gonna learn some fun facts about me some that you may know some that you may not know and I'll try to tell you some interesting or fun stories to go along with some of them I get this question asked quite a lot actually which is what did I want to be growing up and when I was a little girl I was convinced I was gonna be a dolphin trainer <laughs> it's like so random right but I always loved dolphins. It just seemed like so much fun to be just like swimming and getting to play with them all day. And to this day, I still love swimming with dolphins. Who doesn't love a dolphin, right? They're just so cute. Obviously, I'm not a dolphin trainer, but any chance I get to swim with dolphins, I'm there. <laughs> Another question that I get a lot is, what is my favorite food? So one of my favorite foods ever is mac and cheese and I can't eat it anymore because I'm gluten free and gluten free mac and cheese just doesn't hit the same way. It's just not as good. I don't know what my favorite comfort food anymore is to be honest. Now my favorite food to eat when I go out is usually sushi. I love sushi. Um, that's usually my cheat meal is sushi. So I guess if for food I should be favorite alcoholic beverage. I am a champagne girl. I love champagne. I just, I am. I don't really drink that much though. I can go weeks without drinking if I'm just like at home and not doing anything. I used to be more of a wine drinker and I still like wine. I definitely, I'm not a mixed drink person. I don't like vodka. I do like rum every once in a while, but really I'm just like a wine and champagne girl. I don't like beer at all. So another fun little fact or quirk about me since we're talking drinks, I can't drink anything that has pulp in it. Like I love fresh squeezed grapefruit and orange juice, but if there's pulp in it, I'm like, Bleh. it's a texture thing for me. So, so I was born in Gibraltar, just, UK, you know, it's a British colony. It's across from Spain. I didn't live there very long. And we lived in Paris for a little bit after that. And then I moved to Houston when I was four years old. So that's why I consider Houston, Texas home because that's where I grew up. I only speak two languages. Everyone always thinks that I speak more. I wish because, you know, my background is French, Italian, and Spanish, but unfortunately I don't speak Italian or Spanish. I only speak French and English. So I am an only child, just for those of you who may not think it's completely obvious. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. But yes, I'm an only child. Oh, my feet. I get this a lot. I wear a women's size five, US five. Um, so I have very small, dainty little feet. Um, speaking of feet, do y'all want to know about this scar right there that ruined my perfect feet? It was a freak accident. I was taking out the trash. I was in a hurry. I had just rolled the trash. I can't remember if I was taking. Anyways, I slammed the, so I have a driveway gate. But then there's also a door, so I didn't open the whole gate. Anyways, um, I was shutting the door part of the gate, and it's metal, and it just sliced my foot open. I thought I was going to pass out. That's how much it hurt. It was bleeding a lot. I ended up having to go to urgent care, and I got quite a lot of stitches, and it took a while to heal, and it was just annoying because I couldn't work out. I couldn't do anything for a while because so I couldn't wear sneakers. And I had to wear socks with slides, which, oh my goodness, that is such a pet peeve of mine. I know that's like super trendy, like socks with slides and Crocs and ew, just no, no. I just can't, I can't handle that. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, so a few more favorites of mine. My favorite color, I thought I was where I do have some purple in my shirt. Bot comes in a very close second. Somebody's gonna be like, why is that a color? Blah, 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 whatever. So it's purple. 
my favorite time of the day, which is so ironic because I used to be such a night owl, but I have turned into a morning person and my favorite time of the day is the morning when no one else is awake but me. I like getting my cup of coffee and sitting outside and just being around nature and listening to the birds and just, you know, I don't know. It's therapeutic to me. It's like the calm before the storm of my day. Favorite season, summer. I am a summer baby. I was born going to the beach, going to the ocean. I grew up on boats. I love it. People are like, you know, complain about the humidity. No, I do not do well in cold weather. And me, anything under 70 degrees is cold. I will put on a big old jacket. I don't like cold weather. I'm like, if it's hot, I can just get in my pool. I can walk around in a bikini. I'm happy. If, if it's cold and you don't have a jacket, you're miserable, miserable. And I hate being cold. I can't stand being cold, so. And it, the sky is pretty, I don't know. I'm a beach person. I'm a tropical weather person, so it makes sense. However, my favorite holiday is Halloween. And, you know, we don't, we get warm Halloweens a lot in Texas. And it would be nice to have a cooler Halloween for like, I'm not going to lie. It, you know, that would be nice just for like the whole like feel of it. Um, like our Christmases are warm too. Yeah, that's just how it is living here. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bella. You want to get in some videos? Oh, look at that. Hi, girl. I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> get down. It's not dinner time yet. All right. So I was just talking about Halloween. So we can't talk Halloween without um, my favorite candy is Reese's Pieces. Um, oh my gosh. I love peanut butter. I love chocolate. When I was a little girl, I like legit wanted to become a vampire. Like I really wanted to be turned into a vampire. Um, maybe I'm still waiting to be turned. I don't know. But um, some of my favorite movies and TV shows have been about vampires. It was just very romantic and idealist. Yes, I know they feed on human blood, but you know, we're just going to forget that aspect of it. And a lot of times like vampires are hot. Let's be real. I did live in New Orleans briefly. I did get to go do the Anne Rice um, Halloween party one year. Oh, I should do that. Like my top, I'm getting off subject, but would y'all like to know like my top vampire movies or TV shows? Comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to hear about that. So we're gonna do some quirks about me. Um, I am one of those people that plans my outfit. I will pick my clothes out the night before, including my gym fits. That is just, I've been doing that since like junior high or high school and it's just something I always do. So another little fun fact is that I can touch my nose with my tongue. Can you? <laughs> I once got to dance on stage with Madonna. She was amazing. It was really cool. It was a very surreal moment because I grew up with Madonna, loved Madonna, knew all her songs, watched all her movies, got in trouble in, I don't remember if I was in fifth, no, I had to have been like in sixth grade. I don't remember how old I was on the sex book and the, the video came out and all that justify my love. My dad's coworker would always make videos for me of all the Madonna stuff he would get. And so he gave me a tape and the justify my love video was on it. And I showed it to all my friends during a sleepover and I got in so much trouble. All the other parents were so mad at my parents and my parents had no idea. Yeah. And then my mom grounded me and I couldn't go to the Madonna concert, but my dad came through and ended up taking me anyway. <laughs> So another fun fact is that I used to play golf when I was younger. I love playing golf, but I suck at it now thanks to Naughty and Nice. When I say that, you know, thinking about going smaller, it's because I really would love to pick up golf again. So here's another little fun story about me. I once thought I had food poisoning and it turned out that my appendix was rupturing. Went to the hospital and one of my friends was with me and they kept asking me if I had any piercings and they were like insistent. Are you sure you don't have any piercings? Are you sure you don't have any piercings? And I was like, 
why are they so insistent on these piercings? And they told us that this lady had said she didn't have any, I guess because like her husband didn't know about it or something. She ended up having a piercing where we can't say she had a piercing and apparently that can burn you. Um, and things, yeah, so they have to remove these piercings. It gets in the way of certain things and it can hurt you or whatever. Um, so, yeah, if you didn't know that, if you ever go to the ER and they ask you if you have a piercing, do not lie to them. So a lot of my friends and everyone jokes that I have a high threshold for pain because, yes, my appendix was rupturing and here I was being like, oh, I just have food poisoning. And I guess I do have a high threshold for pain. Um, I've hurt myself, I'm very clumsy, and I can handle it. I can handle it. So we're gonna do things I like and things I don't like about myself, right? Because you gotta take the good with the bad. So let's start with the physical. I think my best physical attribute are my eyes. I actually, and it's very ironic because when I was little, I hated my eyes. My dad had green eyes and I was so jealous that I didn't get his green eyes. I was so upset that I got brown eyes and I love my brown eyes now. I think they're really pretty. I mean, we all have things about ourselves we don't like. Like I would love to lose a couple pounds, but I have worked very hard on self-love and I don't like talking negative about my physical self. So we're just gonna say I could stand to lose a couple pounds and whatever, that's it. But um, as far as my personality, I think I could definitely work on my patience a little bit more. And people don't always get my sarcasm. Some people just think I'm being mean to them. And people really don't like honesty. Like people nowadays are like, oh, you're being mean. No, I'm just, do you want me to lie to you? Like I'm just being honest. But then what I like, things I like about my personality, I think I am fiercely loyal and I'm a good listener. So another fun little fact about me is that I hate doing my own makeup. I hate wearing makeup. I loathe it, but I love doing makeup on other people and I'm pretty decent at it. Like my friends will ask me to do um, makeup for them when they have events or dates or whatever and I love doing it on other people and I'm actually pretty good at doing hair and my dad used to do hair and um, I'm not very good at cutting hair like that is not my thing I've had friends that are like can you trim it and I don't like doing that but I'm pretty good at coloring and I'm pretty good at styling hair so another little fun fact about me a really popular question I get is, are you a dog or are you a cat person? And you know what? I am both. I really don't want to have to pick one because I think of all my pets and I adore each and every one of them. That's like when you guys are like, pick your favorite Marvel character, pick your favorite Disney. I don't, I like options. I guess I'm selfish. Y'all can call me selfish. I like options. I get bored easily. I'm not picking one. I want cats and dogs. <laughs> so, another fact about me is that I am terrified of heights and closed spaces. I mean like pathetically you guys, like it is pathetic. I'm scared of heights when it's not even that high, like I can't do bunk beds, like <laughs> that's how pathetic I am. And if I do cryotherapy, I cannot do the full body. I literally go into a panic while the window is coming down, I'm like, <gasps> and I'm like hyperventilating. I also think I'm kind of agoraphobic. I don't like big crowds, which is ironic, right? Because I'll go to festivals, I'll go to Disney. But I also like my personal space. And if people get too close to me, I start feeling very, like, panicky. Um, I used to get panic attacks. I don't really get them that much anymore. But I, I value my personal space. I really do. And I like to be on land or on sea, not up in the sky. So my I would not want to be able to fly if I could have a superpower. <laughs> That's not for me. What would I want as a superpower? Hmm. I would say reading minds, but then I think of that one Buffy episode where she could read everyone's minds and it made her sick because it was like driving her crazy. Maybe teleporting. Teleporting would be great. Oh my God, not having to get on a long flight. Just, that'd be nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a few things about me. Let me know if there's 
any questions or if you would like more videos like this in the comments down below and let me know what was the most interesting thing you learned about me today and don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos and i'll see you next time bye